Uh, welcome back, Sean Thema, with Young Americans for Liberty. Sean, what does it say to you that the Trump administration, well, I'm sorry, that'd be in the future, uh, the uh, the Trump uh, employees in, in you know, his, his office, that they, and the lawyers, they want everything unsealed. They want everything revealed. And you got the government sitting, going to court, making sure, sitting on these documents, making sure that the affidavit and all this information on why the FBI raided, they want to make sure that the court does not unseal a- any of this. Now, I've asked this of a reporter friend earlier this morning, and, and I don't know. Do you, do you know if any Trump attorneys have actually seen the the entire excuse, the entire reason why they went in there, because they're very bullish on the Trump side. Yeah, show show the world, un- reveal everything, and the feds are not. That's that's very suspicious to me. What do you think? Well, I, I'm not sure about the Trump attorney question if they have seen it in full, but to throw the Federal Bureau of Bureau of Intimidation's favorite phrase against them. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Clearly, these folks have something to hide if they don't want to be transparent about the warrant and about the affidavit, right? I mean, but this is nothing new. I mean, the FBI has denied Congress and the Government Accountability Office transparency requests into their investigations and into their specious behavior. I mean, since the FBI's founding, they have been bad actors. They've been tools of the regime targeting peaceful dissenters, whether it's people opposing American involvement in World War I, whether it's opposing or whether it's uh, targeting civil rights leaders, whether it's targeting churches who oppose the foreign policy in the 80s and regime change in Latin America. I mean, the FBI has been an equal opportunity destroyer for anyone who challenges those in power in D.C. In the last couple of years with what they've done to Trump, this is a wake up call to, to many Americans that maybe these people should be defunded or abolished. So I'm not anticipating anything being revealed today from this federal judge Jeez, okay. because I think they've got something to hide. Therefore, they have something to fear, so they're going to kick this can down the road. Yeah, well, what, hop, skip over to where's the nearest uh, appeals court at? Uh, Hot Atlanta? Go there and wait, what, another week or two before we get an answer to all this suspicious investigation? Yeah, and they're on government time, so that week or two will, mm. will no doubt be three or four weeks, right, if they can get their way. Uh, so we will see. But, I mean, the FBI, Which... when you've got Marjorie Taylor Greene and Bernie Sanders' press secretary both saying, yeah, this is a problem. I mean, when you've got that kind of uh, bipartisan unity against an agency, clearly – they have been acting badly. So that is one silver lining to this whole Trump raid is that, that more people are waking up uh, you know, about Man, this agency have, and about the uh, bad yeah. behavior of the DOJ and, and, and these government agencies. They better have a true smoking gun and that's not just be confused by a little dust that's blowing in, in the wind. Uh, Sean Thema, <laughs> Young Americans for Liberty, my guess we're talking about this raid of the uh, Trump house and the FBI going in there taking all sorts of we have no idea. We're hoping to learn today around lunchtime or afterwards what the affidavit says on what they were looking for. Did you hear the oh, – which, by the way, I need to go back to something I wanted to ask you about, stretching out the timeline. Does it benefit Democrats in any way to plod along, stretch this out, go to appeals, take it all the way to November? I don't know if they can make it all the way to the November finish line, but I don't see them benefiting if this – if this dark cloud, this question lingers all the way to Election Day, I don't see Democrats benefiting from this at all. Yeah, unless they have a real smoking gun, then this is a bonehead move. Because what Democrats are going to be mobilized you know, for targeting Trump? I mean, these people have nothing to vote for already when you look at Biden's inflation, you look at the incompetence of the administration and his surrogates. Uh, this is going to mobilize Republicans. Who feel targeted, and you know, rightly so, by these government agencies. Um, so I don't really know what their strategy is beyond hoping and praying that they've got finally the smoking gun to take out Trump. You know what they tried to do since he came down the escalator seven years ago, and they still have not succeeded. So I'm not optimistic they're going to succeed, or that this was a wise political move. Uh, anything can happen when you factor in the deep state, though. They love taking people out. So. 
We will see. We will see. It seems that the Trump kids are, at least Eric, his owner said, they got the video of what the FBI, how they were snooping around, what they were taking. That Those video cameras were on at Mar-a-Lago. They're still sitting on it. I'm going, are, are they making sure that they do everything by the book and legally and not open up a new legal can of worms where they might be facing other um, allegations or, or charges from federal investigators that they're interfering with an investigation, breaking the law again. Is, you think that's the reason maybe they're sitting on this video? Because I think put up uh, and, and shut up. Look, I want to see it, but I'm thinking maybe they're not doing it, have not released it yet because they're talking with attorneys, making sure they don't uh, you know, it, trip any legal wires. Yeah, I think that's very possible. I mean, Harvey Silvergate, uh, you know, an author, brilliant guy, he wrote a book about 10 years ago, Three Felonies a Day, and it shows how the average American, when they wake up, brush their teeth, go to work, come to bed, they've broken, you know, on average, three federal laws a day without <laughs> oh, even knowing. i got to look that so up. So who knows? I mean, if Eric Trump and the, the Trump folks release a video, like, with the wrong way, or they, they do it in, in such a way that yeah. it might trip up some grand federal law, I mean, yeah, they're probably being very careful. Yeah. So sunlight's the best disinfectant, but, uh, you know, the deep state, yeah. I mean, they will take anything they can get on you to, to try they and try They need to out. work it the way the deep state does it, <laughs> Sean. They, they just need to... Oh, the video was leaked. How did that happen? Oh, my goodness. Who <laughs> leaked it? <gasps> that, that's that's what they need to do. Hey, did you hear the, the latest? Um, spe- I, I'm guessing it's speculation on lefties trying to pin something on, on Trump uh, that he, he was sitting in all this sensitive documentation, sensitive papers, and he could weaponize. The fear was that he could weaponize these documents. My goodness. That's so ridiculous. That, that, that To me, that shows uh, Trump derangement syndrome. How Some of these people on the left, they are, it's incurable. There's just no way to cure these people from this syndrome. Yeah, we can try, but it is a fruitless effort for many folks. And one of the rumors I heard is that, uh, oh, he has, he has some nuclear codes. Okay, well, one, I mean, it's probably declassified because he has the power to declassify these things anyway from a legal angle. But two, and more importantly, what kind of incompetent government, and I'm no expert in nuclear energy or the nuclear bomb or whatever, but what kind of government wouldn't change the nuclear codes on a regular basis so um, that they'd be the rendered The federal government? They never got out? The no. U.S. federal government? <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> government, by its nature, is supposed to be incompetent. I just want everything opened up. I want to know if one of those boxes had any information on aliens at Area 51. That, that's what I want to find out, see if, if that's real or not. I mean, some of these, these UFOs and these spaceships. All right, Sean, thank you for um, your comments. Sean, Thema with Young Americans for Liberty.